Yes, yes, y'all, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel with some more Need for Speed Heat. I'm so loving this game right now. Um, got something pretty cool to show you guys, and we'll be showing you a launch control. Now, I haven't been able to um, find if the uh, launch control works in front wheel drive cars, and the rear wheel drive cars do just and I'm going off of the 180SX here just does seem to burn out through every gear um, but with this skyline and the build that I've got on it and the live tuning settings the live tuning settings by the way is just basically um, downforce to low all the way to low uh, traction control off we are in automatic gears so you go on to your gas go on to your brake at the same time you see that it's holding revs and just let go of your brake Boom, launch control. You can see it works pretty well despite the burnout. Which is quite strange as well because all wheel drive cab is just coming from the rear wheels. So I'm gonna go down here, we're gonna do another spin. I'm gonna go back up. I'm gonna do a couple of runs at this just to demonstrate like the launch control now I know. Um if, if you check out the Need for Speed Payback video on the channel for the launch control in that game, um, you could find the gear where it did not and would not burn out and off of the gas and the brake then, you just come off the brake and gear down, just whew, launch, perfect. Um, that's the golf video by the way, if you want to check that out guys. But um, back to heat, as you can see, the launch control is pretty cool, man. I don't know if it's been put in there. It could do with a patch, so it's like integrated properly. But um, for all you people that want to be doing like drag racing online, uh, being able to launch the car is well worth knowing. And a launch control is just. I mean, in older Need for Speed games like Most Wanted, um, there's even launch control in the older titles like that. So it's just a shame that we've never really got a sort of fully working, acknowledged, yeah, you've got launch control, guys. Have fun. Do you know what I'm saying? So um, this is manual gears in a couple of seconds. As just to show you that there's no difference, no difference whatsoever in between the um, the launch control behaviour. Whereas in payback, if you did have it in like hot mic, it would kind of not launch and just spin. I.e., one slower than the other, one's quicker than the other. Um, seems to be pretty much the same. Uh, we'll be sticking on um, traction control as well for you guys in a second to show you that that does affect the launch a little bit and in my personal opinion I do believe it makes it a little bit slower see now launch control traction control is a lot smoother for the actual launch itself but I, I don't know if it's just me guys if you want to drop it down in the comment section below in which one you think is faster traction control on traction control off um, and also if you would like to see maybe a patch from like the developers to actually give us like an integrated fully working launch control drop that in the comments too guys we want a topical conversation and debates So yeah, that's it really guys, um, it was a quick video, I thought it was worth sharing, as always. If there's something I find interesting, I think it's worth sharing with um, my YouTube community, and you subscribers, you lovely people, then I'll make a quick video on it, and I'll try and be as honest as possible. So, um, smash the like button, subscribe for more daily uploads, and... Um, Feel free to leave a comment down below and until next time, peace.